I'm sure everybody gets this question. What is your expected salary in the HR rounds? What do we normally tend to answer? Many people are confident in the technical rounds, but when it comes to the HR rounds, especially this question, many people fumble. They don't really know what should be the exact answer should I give. Should I tell them some particular number or should I keep it open? And in that process, there could be a scenario where they lose out on some money. In this video, I shall be answering you what should be the potentially better answer as compared to what you are giving right now. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the video. When it comes to interviews, I'm pretty much sure that we are well prepared about it be it a data science interview, data analytics interview. Based on the JDs, we study a lot on the technical part and we are able to crack it. But many people fumble in the HR round. However, we give low priority to the HR rounds. But trust me, when it comes to abroad jobs, if you have started looking out for abroad jobs, HR rounds are the most important rounds because based on your communication, based on your team player skills, they will be selecting you. Technical skills are definitely important, but HR skills or the communication skills are also important. When it comes to the HR round, the most important question where we fumble is when we are asked about the expected salary. It's a normal human tendency doesn't really matter if you are bad at communication, good at communication, doesn't matter. When it comes to this question, many of us fumble and give wrong answers. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you an answer which I usually tend to give. And somehow I have also talked with a lot of HR friends, with a lot of community managers, with a lot of people who are into that particular side of the business. And I got feedbacks that the answer which I give is somehow good. So I'll be sharing that, but do not treat it as a full and final answer. These are just my advices and they comes with conditions apply. Okay. So when you are asked about this question, what is your current salary and what is your expected salary? What you need to answer is what I will answer you as a candidate. Now, for example, if the HR asks me, what is your current salary and expected salary? Well, my answer will be like this. My current salary is 12 lakhs and my expected would be as per industry standards. Now, when you tell as per industry standards, the next question immediately from the HR will be, can you give me a number? Because when it comes to industry standards, the, the standards are really, you know, the, the range is huge. It all depends upon previous experience, right? If you are at 12 lakhs, based on your previous experience, previous salary, they will be offering you. So the immediate question from the HR will be, can you give me a number? In that case, how would you tackle? Well, uh, if you ask me about a number, I don't have any numbers right now in my mind, but uh, I would like to keep it open. Can I can I uh, hear the budget from your side? What's the, the What's the budget limit from the company's point of view? Can you please tell me? Now, this statement is giving an option to the HR to talk about their budget. Why? Imagine this thing. The company is hiring. They do have their own budget. If their budget is in the range of 18 to 30. Now you are negotiating for 18. Definitely they will be hiring you. But you could have also got 24, 25 or 30 in that particular job. So if you are providing a specific number, you are restricting yourself to that number. You cannot go beyond that. If you are telling 18, you crack the job, what they will offer you is 18 or probably 19, max to max. In that case, you cannot go beyond that, that can you give me 22? Now they will come back and tell you that your expected salary was 18, why are you asking for 22? So that is one of the reasons why I would like to keep it open, never give a number. So when you have told, ask them a range from the HR side, the next statement could potentially be, well, we have range, but uh, there are two scenarios, whether the HR will tell the range and whether the HR will not tell the range. 
in the first scenario if the hr tells you the range if the range is okay with you tell yes yeah i think uh, i'm okay with the range uh, let's go go ahead and uh, do the interviews and see how things goes and probably i will give you a number probably after the first round of interview i hope it's fine the in the second scenario where the hr refuses to tell the range there are some hrs who keep keep asking you the same question can you give me a number give me a number give me a number in that case what you need to do is uh well to be very honest i don't have a number but if you are forcing me a number i would like to say somewhere around 24 or 23 see your ex current is 12 you your expectation in your head is 18 which is 50% but you are asking them 24 but you have to ask it cunningly what you need to tell is well my expected salary is 24 but honestly speaking i don't have any numbers in my mind this is what my friends have told me this is what my the industry is and this is what people are getting in my experience range so i would be expecting around 24 but i am honestly speaking i am completely open on the budget part it's i would request you to go ahead with the interview process if i am good enough if the interviewers like me if my interview goes really well i think the company will have no problem accepting the deal or whatever it is we can negotiate on it now this statement creates a positive impact in the hr's head that the person is giving a number in pressure but he is kind of open in this case if you crack the interview and let's say they give you if you have asked for 24 they give you 20 you can always say that you know my expectations are 24 and then how you negotiate with that deal could be uh, you know could be i could talk about it in another video but this is this video was completely dedicated to how to tackle the expected salary part if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos and trust me i'm repeating again these are completely my views but these are authenticated views that i have cross validated with a lot of hrs and normally hrs like these kind of answers so that's all about this particular video see you in the next video